The biggest challenge for me as a communicator is how we change that conversation away from winter pressures always being about acute trusts. Uh, our services, both community health and mental health, and also social care, um, which we provide in an integrated way, are under a lot of pressure picking up um, all of the winter issues from the acute. So we need to start changing that conversation um, so our staff and our patients feel better supported and better able to make the right choices. So I think one of the biggest challenges this winter has been responding to the constant media attention um, on our trust. And indeed, I imagine that's very similar for communicators right across the country. The media will approach trusts, obviously wanting to get access, wanting to get information. And I think going into next winter, we need to agree how we're going to respond to those because I think it's an awful lot for individual trusts to respond on their own. And I think we probably need some greater support from the centre in responding to those sorts of inquiries. In Oxford, we have very active local media. So we have a daily paper, which is for quite a small city. And we also have very active local BBC um, and other re media. So I think the biggest challenge is that they want the latest information. They want the latest statistics, A&E waiting times, etc. So we have to balance that against the fact that statistics are published kind of nationally by NHS England. Um, so do we say, well, actually, let's wait until the official figures are out? Or do we say, well, no, actually, we need to engage with the media now and talk about what's happening on the ground? And we've decided to do the latter because otherwise we leave a vacuum that will be filled by speculation about how we are actually performing.